Hey guys, Corey Lennox here for Piano with Corey, and today I'm taking a break from the music room to come hang out in the kitchen because today I'm going to be teaching you how to find chords with donuts. And I'm going to go the extra mile for you guys, not only by showing you how to make chords, but also showing you how to make the right chords, the ones that apply to the song you're doing or the key you're in. And this is huge because as a piano teacher, I see so many people are afraid of chords, and you don't have to be. Right? It's so easy if you know the right way to think about it, and we're gonna get into that right now. And one last quick thing before we get into it, make sure to stay till the end of the video. You're probably gonna get the hang of this pretty fast, but I'm gonna be sharing insights as we go along, and I don't want you guys to miss anything. It's donut time. All right, so we have our musical donut keyboard here, and uh, I had a little bit of trouble getting the icing letters right, but uh, we're gonna make it through this together, guys. So first thing you need to know are your scales. So if you haven't checked out my scale video, go watch that first. And the reason that's so important is because everything we do in music is gonna come from knowing what key we're in, knowing what scale we're using. So for this example, let's say we're using the C scale, and we know that the key of C has no sharps or flats. So I'm going to take out all the sharps and flats here. And now we have our C scale, all white keys. We take the first note, C, and we're going to build what's called the one chord because it's based off the first note. So the way we actually get the chord is we start here and then we take every other note until we have three. So we're going to do C, E, and G. See how I did every other note? So let me take out the ones that don't belong, and there we go, we've got our C chords, C, E, and G. All right, now let's make our two chord, so the second note of the scale is D, and again we're gonna take every other note, so D, F, and A. There we have it, there's our two chord. Now I'm not gonna go through more of these and bore you, because I think you get the idea, so just for example, the three chord would be E, G, and B, and so on. Now, here's the really cool thing. At any point, did we have to figure out if the chords were major or minor or diminished or... No, we didn't, right? The scale did it for us. Now, of course, we do want to be able to know all our different types of chords, and there's going to be more videos getting into all that, I can assure you. But, uh, for today, this is just sort of a quick fix to get you in there, get you making chords in your key for either learning someone else's song or writing your own stuff. Now, here's where things get a little bit more tricky. Right now, I'm just sort of zoomed in on a different part of the keyboard. We're going to use our F scale. And from the scale video, we know that the key of F has a B flat. So we're going to take out B natural and leave B flat. And that's the only black key we have. So when we're making our chords, we have to remember B flat. All right, now let's make our one chord, F, A, and C. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Now let's make our two chord, G, B flat, and D. Okay, so those three would make up our two chord. And that's where people get into trouble is they just forget what their scale was. Let's do a couple more examples to make sure you got it. The three chord would be A, C, and E. And then the four chord would be B flat, D, and F. Now I want to use the key of G. And we know that the G scale has one sharp, which is F sharp. So I'm gonna take away F natural and all the other black keys. All right, so now we have our G scale. And let's make the one chord, G, B, and D. Those three would make a G chord. And then A, C, and E would be the two chord. But how about the three chord, B, D, and F sharp would be the three chord. All right, that's it for me today. I hope this video was helpful for you. Make sure to keep an eye on the description boxes of these videos because I'm planning on putting out a piano course soon, whether that be how to play by ear and totally break free of sheet music or just how to play piano in general, but something's gonna be coming pretty soon, so make sure you're ready for that. Also, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.